Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale your Keurig K-Cafe Smart Coffee Maker. I'll be showing you how to use the Keurig descaling solution that comes in the bottle or the pouch. So up here you may have like a little water icon or it may be telling you it's time to descale. That notification comes on after 250 brews. We have to put the machine into a special descale mode, run it all the way through in order to get that light to come off. Now you can get that notification to go away in the future. Once it's on, you do have to run the descale mode, but it will come on after 250 brews or three months. So press these little arrows right here. We're going to go into settings. Next is the Wi-Fi descale mode. This is where we're going to go into descale mode. But then if you go one more, descale alert reminder is on. If we don't want that reminder to come on, press the K button, go over to there to off, press K to confirm, and then confirm. Descale reminder will not come on next time. Now it is a good idea to descale these every three months because inside you've got an aluminum heating element that's got a really small diameter. If you've got hard water, hard water is going to start to stick in inside there and it's going to start to close that off and it won't be able to, to heat the water and you won't get as much water coming out. So it's really important to stay up on top of our descales. Okay, so the quick start guide that comes with the coffee maker does not have the descaling instructions. You have to go online to the Keurig website and find the use and care guide. They've got a whole section on descaling your brewer. The menu up there on that screen, it's going to walk you through. It's got some important reminders, but I'm going to show you from start to finish how to do it. Okay, first thing, grab your water reservoir, take your uh, carbon water filter out. You may or may not have this carbon water filter. The, the Keurig doesn't need it to operate, but we're going to leave it out. Dump whatever water you have out, dump that out inside here. Next, open this up, make sure the basket's installed. We're not going to put a cake up in, so leave that closed for the duration. You will need something that can hold up to 12 ounces of hot water. Okay, so this coffee maker will let you uh, descale it with this 14 ounce descaling solution. You can buy just this bottle. It also comes in the three month care kit, but there's also another care kit that's called the three month brew care kit, and it's got this pouch. It's a little pouch of descaling solution. So when you go through the menu, it will ask you if you're using the pouch. If you use the pouch, you just have to add more water. You're not going to be using as much solution. On the back, it kind of tells you you're going to add three cups, 24 ounces to the water reservoir. So also on the descaling solution, there are instructions, but you have to see this little thing tab right here, peel it back, and that's where the instructions are. Now we're going to follow the instructions for Keurig Brewers with a water reservoir. It's not specifically for this one, but it does give us some important notes. Okay, so one of the notes that's not in the manual, but it's in the bottle, is this resting. So we're gonna run the descaling solution through it, and then we're gonna fill the tank up and we're gonna run hot water. We're gonna run water through it to kind of do some fresh water rinses. So, but we wanna let the brewer rest. After we run the descaling solution through it, we need to let it rest for a little bit. And that's what it talks about in here. And here it says about we're going to let the brewer stand for 30 minutes while still on. While we're, sti while, we're sti while we're still in descale mode. After 30 minutes, then you're going to do the fresh water rinses. This is important because these, these Keurigs have heating elements in them. And they can overheat if you continue the descale and the fresh water rinses one right after the other. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. You're going to press these two arrows side by side, you're gonna go into the menu mode. These arrows are lit up now, go to next, that's Wi-Fi, descale mode. So now we're gonna press the K button. We're gonna enter descale mode. It's gonna say, do you want to? Yes, I do. Press the K. If you're using a water filter, remove your water filter. We removed it. Press continue. Which key uh, Keurig descaling solution are you using? The two ounce pouch or the 14 ounce bottle? I'm using the 14 ounce bottle. So click next. Empty the water reservoir, pour the descaling solution. Okay, so I'm going to pour the whole bottle of 14 ounces in there. Then I'm going to take this whole bottle, this 14 ounce bottle, I'm going to fill this up with just fresh water out of my tap. Okay, so this is just filled up with water. Now this gives us the proper ratio. We want a one to one ratio. So I've got 14 ounces of descaling solution and I've got 14 ounces of water. This is all we're going to add. Okay, I've got it in, press continue. It's gonna say, make sure there's no cake up in here. There isn't. We're, okay, now we've entered descale mode. 
the 12 ounce is lit and the big K is flashing. Make sure you got your cup. It's gonna be really hot coming out. Press there. It's gonna brew 12 ounces of the descaling solution and water through the machine. Now there's a circuit card built in here. In order to get that descale notification to go out, we have to run it down until it senses that there's no more water in the reservoir. Then that logic board's gonna say, okay, now it's time for the fresh water rinses. We're gonna do fresh water rinses. And at the end of that, the add water light will come on again and then it comes out of descale mode. Sometimes these coffee makers, they don't sense that add water. If you notice that your, your um, water reservoir is getting really low, it, it should get down about like that far and then, then it should logic go to the next step. If it doesn't, you need to unplug it and start all over again. Don't run your Keurig dry. These Keurig machines do not like to run dry. And sometimes when you're in descale mode, if that if it doesn't go to that next logic step for the fresh water rinses, it will let you run it dry. Now the add water light's not gonna come on, but the screen's gonna change and say, okay, now it's time to do the fresh water rinse. And, and the way it knows that is because it, it knows that the add water light's on. Okay, so we're gonna go empty that. Let's put this one in. Again, the 12 lights up and the K is flashing. We're still in descale mode. Okay, so we can see the tank's getting really low. That's okay, because it's almost nearing the end of the second 12 ounce brew. Okay, so it's finishing there. Okay, it sensed the add water light. Again, it doesn't, come, it doesn't say add water, but it goes to the next step. It's called the rinse the reservoir and fill it to the max line. So we're gonna, I've got some leftover descaling solution in there. I'm gonna go dump that out, rinse this out, get, and fill it up to the max with fresh water. Okay, so I rinsed out the water reservoir. I've got it filled up to the max line. This is just fresh water. I'm gonna put it on. Now I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. I'm not gonna lift the lever. I'm not gonna unplug it. Don't do anything. These coffee makers get really hot on the inside when they're running that bunch of water through it. So let it sit and then we're going to come back and hit the continue button. So now you're going to hit the continue button after you let it sit there for a little bit. Hit continue. Now it lights the 12 ounce again and the K. Now what it's going to do is we're going to do these are fresh water rinses. It's going to run that whole uh, reservoir through a fresh water and when at towards the end when it gets really low it's going to sense that and it's going to come out of descale mode. Again, the add water light's not going to come on right away. It's just going to say descale mode complete, but we got to run about four or five of these 12 ounce brews through it, these fresh water rinses. This will get rid of all of the smell and taste of that descaling solution in the coffee maker. I, I really think this 30 minute um, letting it rest should be with the descaling procedure. You only find that on the bottle. And you, you kind of think that this is written just for this brewer. So a lot of times, you know, I, in the past, have not done the 30-minute rest. But I do think the 30-minute rest is important. Okay, so we're finished with that. Now we got to put another container. Again, we're still in descale mode. The 12 is lit. Press the K button. You're going to do this five time, four or five times until that water reservoir gets really low. Again, if you notice that it's like only this much left and it's telling you to do another brew, don't do it. Don't run this coffee maker dry. It will damage it on the inside. Unplug it, start all over again. Now, when you start all over again, you're gonna start from the beginning, but you can use just water, simulate water in the bottle. So just put two bottles of water in. There is a circuit card in there that you have to follow the logic in order to get that light to go out. Okay, so there's the second one. Put another container. Again, don't lift anything. We're still in descale mode, just hit the K button. Okay, so we're finishing up with the third one. Put another container. We're still in descale mode. We still got some water left. Just press the K button. Okay, so that's the end of the fourth one. We still got some in left there. We're still in descale mode. Press the K button. At the end of this one, it's going to get really low. We should come out of the descale mode. Okay, so it's getting really low on water. Again, it should come out of descale mode after this one. There, descale is complete. Finish, now the add water lights on. This worked perfectly. Go over here, fill your water reservoir up, 
be careful this is going to be really hot in here you can put your carbon water filter back in now it's also a good time to change that they want you to change that carbon water filter after two months I do have another video. You can descale it with vinegar. I do prefer the key, the Keurig descaling solution. I do think it does a better job. It doesn't smell as bad as the vinegar, um, but the vinegar works really well and it's cheaper. So it is a good idea to keep up on top of these descales. Um, these there's just not a lot of room in that heating element for the. If you do get a bunch of hard water deposits in there, it's going to really start clogging it off. And these machines are just too expensive. For that, that's something that you really can't fix. Um, once that gets really clogged, um, it's just, you really need to stay up on top of the descales. And again, it does have to th go through the logic like I talked about. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.